Holly Johnson grew up in Brampton, Ontario with her two sisters and supportive parents, Donna and Jeff, who encouraged the girls to dream big and reach for the stars. From an early age, she demonstrated her interest in machines and technology, informing her mother at age two that she wanted to quit the local preschool because they didn't have any computers. While growing up, she caught the space bug, convincing her mom to paint a space shuttle mural across her bedroom wall. That's pretty neat. A trip to the Kennedy Space Center was highlighted by the launch of space shuttle STS-65. Well, the die was cast. While becoming a high-level competitive gymnast, representing Ontario in competitions throughout North America, Holly still managed to remain at the top of her class in both grade school and high school. She entered the University of Toronto in 2005, where she completed her undergraduate degree of applied science and mechanical engineering. She found time to become an active member of the science outreach team, where she brought engineering lessons to the grade school classrooms and hosted SciCamp over the summer months. In 2008, while still in university, Holly secured a 16-month internship with MDA Robotics and Automation Division in Brampton, where she worked on the Canadarm Operations and Mission Support Team. Holly also managed during this period to obtain her private pilot's license from the Brampton Flying Club, where she was recognized as the top female pilot in her graduating class, receiving the Bonnie Rampula Memorial Award. Completing her university degree with honors in 2010, she returned to MDA as a full-time member of the Systems Engineering Group. Now, Holly's work at MDA has not been solely related to the space domain. She was lead systems engineer on NeuroArm2, a project that developed an MRI-compatible robot for intraoperative brain surgery. Its technology subsequently inducted into the prestigious Space Technology Hall of Fame in 2014 for utilizing engineering technology developed for space applications to improve life right here on Earth. Well, more recently, Holly worked with a startup company, Synaptive, to use control algorithms developed for Canadarm to create a hands-free surgical imaging product called Bright Matter Drive. While in the advanced systems group, working on projects such as deep space exploration robotics, Holly was recognized in 2015 by the Sierra Nevada Corporation for her work in supporting their successful Dream Chaser bid for the International Space Station Cargo Resupply Contract. Promoted in 2016 to the position of Business Development Manager, Holly is responsible for identifying and fulfilling new pursuits and business opportunities in robotics and automation group. Outside of her work at MDA, Holly has also been involved with a variety of outreach activities. In 2011, she introduced a division-wide fundraising campaign in support of Children's Wish and raised nearly $50,000 over a three-year period. She's volunteered at multiple youth events to inspire children to get involved with robotics and is a regular supporter of women in science and engineering initiatives throughout the community. Throughout her life, from teenage gymnast to the present, Holly has exhibited a strong sense of adventure and a desire to constantly seek out new challenges. This passion has taken her to destinations around the world and sometimes on top of it. It's this spirit, coupled with her continuing efforts to promote interest in the aviation industry to the younger generation, that substantiates her selection as one of this year's Elsie Award Rising Stars. Ladies and gentlemen, Holly Johnson. And presenting the trophy, is Aaron Grant, the 2015 Elsie Award winner in the Rising Star category. I may have to shorten this a bit. Um, first, I'd like to thank uh, the uh, Northern Lights Foundation. This is um, truly an honor to be even recognized among such an esteemed um, set of award recipients. Uh, for, those of who are, for those of you who are closest to me, you know I'm not uh, one to um, take recognition or I tend to shy away from personal recognition. Um, but I do find that these events are uh, best to recognize those that have helped me come along this way. And I'm so thankful for many of you to share this with me. Um, so first of all, to my parents, um, parents to uh, three daughters and uh, I think 17 collective years of university education between us. So thank you for, for moving my Ikea bed that many times back and forth home and, and to school 
um, and to being the, the, just the best parents and the best friends that uh, someone could ask for. Um, and my sister, Jenna, is here today to share that with me too. Um, to my Uncle David and Auntie Marlene, um, I remember going to, uh, to the cottage and looking up at the, at the sky and he would take me out to the, to the dark sky because down here, you, and, and when I live in Toronto, you can't see the stars that well, but we would go up to the, up to the road and look at uh, the sky and um, particularly look for satellites. I thought that was kind of, kind of apropos because so many years later, um, I get to work with for a, a, just a, a wonderful company, MDA, that we now get to, to build things that go on one of the biggest satellites, uh, the Canada Arm Robotics. So um, I, I'd like to thank everyone for uh, sharing this with me today. Um, and just as a reminder, uh, I see so many wonderful faces in the crowd, families, parents, sisters, brothers. Um, the reason why I'm here today is because so many people have helped me, and uh, I, like to rec I like to accept um, recognition like this, not for myself, but for, um, for people that have helped me here. And just as a reminder to um, go to the airport, take your kids, uh, watch airplanes, point out satellites, um, ask questions, answer questions, and be a mentor, because that's how all of us are here today. So thank you so much.